Few would expect that. Using only small steel balls, a craftsman could forge a complete knife. First, he places all the steel balls into a thick steel pipe and adds borax powder to help them bond together during heating. The pipe is then sealed with a lid and fully welded, forming a solid steel block before being placed into a furnace at extremely high temperatures. Once the steel reaches the proper forging heat, the billet is quickly transferred to a power hammer to begin shaping. Next, the two ends of the billet are cut off, the surface is ground smooth, and a steel rod is welded to the tail end to make handling easier. The billet is reheated and forged repeatedly until it reaches the required thickness and length. At this stage, the craftsman uses a hammer to form the distinctive curve of a kukri blade, then sketches the outline directly onto the steel and cuts along the marked lines. After that, the blade is carefully ground by machine to achieve a smooth surface. Holes are drilled in the handle area and secured with bolts. The blade is sharpened, reheated once more, and then quenched in engine oil to harden the steel safely. Once stabilized, the blade is polished and coated with a layer of wax to protect the surface and enhance the finish. The handle material is drilled, glued, and firmly attached to the tang, then shaped to fit the hand with rounded, smooth edges. Finally, the handle is polished and the blade is sharpened again on a whetstone, completing a patient and highly refined handmade process.